Fitzgerald had difficulty choosing a title for his novel and entertained many choices before reluctantly deciding on The Great Gatsby, a title inspired by Alan Fournier's Le Grand Mialness. Previously he had shifted between Among Ash Heaps and Millionaires. Trimulcio. Trimulcio in West Egg. On the Road to West Egg. Under the Red. White. And Blue. The Gold-Hatted Gatsby. And The High Bouncing Lover. The titles The Gold-Hatted Gatsby and The High Bouncing Lover came from Fitzgerald's epigraph for the novel, one which he wrote himself under the pen name of Thomas Park D. in Villiers. Fitzgerald initially preferred titles referencing Trimulcio, the crude upstart in Petronius Satyricon, and even refers to Gatsby as Trimulcio once in the novel. Unlike Gatsby's spectacular parties, Trimulcio participated in the orgies he hosted but, according to literary critic Tony Tanner, there are subtle similarities between the two characters. By November 1924, Fitzgerald wrote to Perkins that he had settled upon the title of Trimulcio in West Egg, disliking Fitzgerald's chosen title of Trimulcio in West Egg. Editor Max Perkins persuaded him that the reference was too obscure and that people would be unable to pronounce it. Zelda and Perkins both expressed their preference for The Great Gatsby. And the next month Fitzgerald agreed. A month before publication, after a final review of the proofs, he asked if it would be possible to retitle it Trimulcio or Gold-Hatted Gatsby. But Perkins advised against it. On March 19, 1925, Fitzgerald expressed enthusiasm for the title under the red, white, and blue. But it was too late to change it at that stage. The novel was published as The Great Gatsby on April 10, 1925. Fitzgerald believed the book's final title to be merely acceptable and often expressed his ambivalence with the name. 